As you can see, I'm in a very special location. I'm in the Microsoft Mechanics Studio. Today, I'm going to be talking to you all about some of the latest innovations in Microsoft Purview. Let's get stuck in. The place to go to find out about all the new features is this page here, learn.microsoft.com, what's new in Microsoft Purview. We might just take a very quick look at a couple of these features that I am particularly interested in in the portal. We have data lifecycle management and records management. In preview, we've got a use priority cleanup to expedite the permanent deletion of sensitive information from mailboxes, even if they have existing holds for retention or e-discovery. That's really interesting, actually. If they've got holds on, this is something that can override that. And then new, we've got how to apply retention labels in Loop and Copilot pages. You'll notice at the top here, we had these links to roadmaps, and I have these open. We've got the data governance one, we've got the data security risk and compliance one. Data governance one, we've got that open here. That's in the form of a, of a document which shows you what is planned for H1 in uh, 2025. So a bit of a roadmap there, which uh, shows what's coming, lots of themes and capabilities there for all things data catalog roadmap related. So do check that out. The one that's more familiar to me is the, the Microsoft 365 roadmap, which, uh, from that link, it filters automatically to Purview for you, which is great. So we can see all of the Microsoft Purview updates that are coming uh, in development, et cetera, et cetera. So we've got things like the compliance portal, communication compliance, customize comms compliance policies with language specific trainable classifier conditions, really cool stuff. We've got debt loss prevention, new chat GPT, enterprise connector to discover and bring prompts and responses into the scope of purview features. That's a really big one. So I want to take a look at one of these features in particular, and that is the priority cleanup feature in data lifecycle management. Now, the first prerequisite that you need for this is to have the priority cleanup admin role, which Strangely enough, I can't find in the role groups in Microsoft Purview Portal. I'm in the role groups there. I sort that ascending, and I don't seem to be able to find under P Priority Cleanup. I even did a, a search for it. it. Helps if you spell it right. And nothing comes back. That being said, in Data Lifecycle Management, I actually do see, and I'm in the settings there, not the solution. So let me change that, data lifecycle management. I actually can see the preview of priority cleanup. So we go into there and I wonder if I'm getting that because I am a global administrator. I don't know. This isn't preview, so bear that in mind. So let me know if you have that role in your um, purview portal. But here we have priority cleanup. Let's see what it's all about. Create priority cleanup policies to dispose of data that comprises your organization's security. Create priority cleanup policies to dispose of data that compromises your organization's security. And you can use these policies to resolve data spillage, bypass e-discovery holds, remove content as requested in a subject rights request, or address other security incidents requiring urgent data deletion. So this seems like a really cool thing. So we've got policies there which we can create, and then we've got items for review once we've created these policies and we have results from them. How do we create one then? Let's take a look. Let's just uh, PC1, Priority Cleanup 1, test. I'm always so inventive with these, aren't I? Next, choose where to apply the policy. You can apply to specific exchange mailboxes defined by attributes or properties or individual or multiple exchange mailboxes or all locations. You can't exclude individual mailboxes if you select this option. So looks very, very much like it's mail only at the moment. Uh, so let's just go through on all locations just at the moment. So exchange online for now. Uh, you can put in a KQL editor for what you're looking for. So write a query in keyword query language to search for exchange emails. For example, to find an email with the subject quarterly financials sent by cfocontoso.com between June the 1st, blah, 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 blah. You would enter this query here. So subject quarterly financials and sent this date range 
and from that email address. So there we go. So we would put that in there. Then you would click on next. So you do actually have to put something in there. So let's actually pinch that and see if it'll let me proceed. Uh, just so I've got something in there. Okay. And let's go next. There we go. And then choose when the content should be deleted. Delete items as soon as possible. Any items matching the policy's conditions, including those protected by retention settings or holds in e-discovery, will be permanently deleted upon approval. Or prevent permanent deletion until a set time. So there we go. So a couple of choices there. And then we've got some settings to put in for approvers, a sign who will approve what gets deleted. Uh, so put in the priority cleanup admins, the retention managers. These reviewers will authorize the removal of any content with retention labels or policies applied to them. And they must have the retention management role assigned. And e-discovery admins as well, who will review and authorize the removal of any content affected by e-discovery role. So there are some guardrails in there. And it looks like I'm going to have to fill those in. These are mandatory fields, so I can't proceed without them. Okay, so let me just uh, pop in a name and hopefully it will let me proceed. I'll just put myself in because I want to see this last policy mode box and see what is in there. So let's click on to next. And a reviewer can't be added to more than one stage. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, let's take those out. And I really want to see what that next one is. So let's just, who else have I get on this? Tenant Stella, Gibson, Sid, James, is he in here? Yes, he is. Let's try that. So admin cannot be one of the approvers. Oh, Lord, this is very, very, uh, very, 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 very restrictive. Have I got a Rachel Green in this tenant? Uh, Rachel Green. And there we go. Finally, we get past it. So there's some very restrictive choices you can make there. Choose the policy mode. Run the priority cleanup policy and simulation mode, which is recommended. Uh, we'll show you which items match the policy's conditions, but your org's data won't be affected. Turn the priority cleanup policy on immediately or leave the priority cleanup policy turned off. So very similar to other features within purview there. So we'll do simulation here for argument's sake. And then you can review the policy's details Click that you understand uh, the details of the policy and click Submit. I won't do that because I don't want to actually do that in the tenant, but that is what you would do. So pretty cool stuff. So there you have it. I think you'll agree that there's lots to be excited about. Let me know what you thought of the video. Hit me up in the comments. Any questions you have there, I will come back to you as always. Do hit like if you enjoyed the video and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell. Let's wrap things up there. I will see you very, very soon for another video. Take care, travel well, and stay safe. Bye for now.